Well, I'll be damned. Look what I just found. Hey, what's up, Duff here? Out here with the Tesla Model Y, I'm going to be uh, demonstrating something that I've had to do, uh, I don't remember, three months ago, four months ago. I'm gonna plug a tire. Um, up until this, uh, the first time I plugged a tire three or four months ago, I was always under the belief, you know, you always hear, oh man, the only way to properly fix a tire is to you know, take it to a garage, have them take the tire off the rim and patch it from the inside. And that may be the case. Well, it is the case. I mean, that's the best way, but it's not the only way. Um, the tire that I patched um, or I plugged uh, three or four months ago, it hasn't lost a single PSI since I've done it. A uh, small hole, and this time it looks like I have a, I don't know, a metal nail or a staple in, so I'm going to do it again. The tire is about five PSI lower than all the others, and I'm just going to show you how to do it. I'm not saying this is the best way, but I'm going to show you if you are interested in plugging the tire on your Tesla, this is the way to do it. And, and actually, the whole reason that I decided to plug it last time was because I took it to Costco, who patched a tire for me before on my Model 3, and said, hey, can you guys patch this for me? Oh, no, no. No, we don't. We don't. Uh, repair Tesla tires anymore you know they're, they're too problematic and I guess what they're talking about is you know uh, these tires have like a, a layer of like uh, foam inside sound deadening foam and for some reason I guess that could cause complications when they're doing a conventional patch so they just they don't want to do it anymore so F that and uh, I'm just going to do it this way tools I have for the job my DeWalt 20 volt impact wrench a 21 uh, millimeter deep socket I have my torque wrench for when I uh, put the tire back on to torque the lugs to spec. Right now you're sitting on my low profile floor jack and uh, you're jacked up at the special point. There's a special point, there's four points underneath the Tesla where it's safe to jack it. Um, and you want to make sure that you always use those points because you could damage the battery otherwise. So here we go. Okay, the tire is off and right here I believe is my culprit. So I need to uh, see if I can get that out with like a needle nose. Well, I'll be damned. Look what I just found. I bet that's the actual thing that's leaking. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if that, that other one might just be like a, something wedged in the treads. So I think this is actually my problem. I'm glad I double checked. I've been taking the Tesla up to check on uh, my ex-wife Allison's house with her that's under construction. We've been taking this up there to do it lately, and I have a feeling that's, if I were to guess, that's probably where this damn thing came from. And I'm going to probably need to use two hands to get this. Okay. You can hear the air releasing. All right, here's the, uh, the nail. All right, so it's, it's fine. The tire can deflate. That's, it's just probably advised to let it deflate anyways. Now I'm just going to see that other piece that I saw on the tire, if I can just uh, pull that out. Alright, well damn it, this thing looks like a staple. So, yeah, that, I'm not sure if that's all the way through or not, so that I could have two things in this freaking tire. Okay, I pulled that staple out. I want to see if there's actually any air coming out of this. I don't think that one actually punctured all the way through, so I'm not seeing any air come out. All right, good. So let's pay our attention to uh, the other thing. That there definitely is air coming out of. Right, this is how you can tell if you have a hole. <laughs> okay, definitely got a hole there. So what I'm using is um, I have this tire plug kit from last time that I uh, did this process. It's, it's a tool that you basically use to kind of round out the hole and then you use these plugs these plug strips to plug it you, you jam it in and then you pull out the tool and then you got this this stuff that becomes very malleable and seals up the hole um, one pro problem you can have is like these plugs can dry out over time so just to be safe i bought uh, four brand new premium uh, plugs just to make sure that i have a good set here and uh let's get started and let me give you the the normal disclaimer, I am not a mechanic. I am not saying that this is the best way to do anything. This is just the way that I'm doing it. And I think I need to use two hands. 
the funny thing is, is you actually wind up, in the case of a small hole like this, you wind up making a bigger hole than, uh, than the puncture, which uh, seems a little weird, but that's, uh, that's the way you gotta do it. All right, we are now inserted into the tire, and you use this, they call it a rasp. You use the rasp to rough up the size of your hole, get it to the proper size, do the inserts, and then pull it out. You can see this material, so the plug is very sticky. Basically, you put it through, you thread the needle with it. Yeah, I would I definitely recommend you wear gloves for this process. Take it through the, the needle, pull it through. Okay. And so it's about halfway. And then what happens is you jam it in, and, and there's actually a, a this isn't solid here at the at the tip. So you jam it in, and then you can pull it out, and and the tool will come out while leaving the plug in. So that's uh, that's the goal here. Now I know you can't see this very well. Sorry, I don't have my tripod out here, but we are just gonna try to push this bad boy in there. There we go. All right, come on. I think last time I um, wound up doing this twice. Push the plug in. Actually, let's see this. Push it approximately two thirds of the way in. I'm probably pushing a little bit more than that. Two thirds of the way in. Pull the needle straight out with a rapid motion. All right, I can do that. Here we go. Rapid. Bam. All right. It's out. All right. So this is what it looks like now that I have the plug in there. So basically, you, um, I'm going to go get my dikes and you just cut this uh, down below the uh, layer of the tread. Okay, it's you know it's about even with the tread, and after rolling on a little bit, it should it should uh, smooth out, should be fine. So now I need to repressurize the tire and make sure we have no leaks. Okay, I pumped it up to 40.5. It's holding pressure. Uh, bubbles. All right. I think uh, that's good. I'm gonna put the um, the tire back on and uh, maybe go for a quick 10 mile drive or so and just make sure that everything is still cool. Okay, I have these on snug but not tight because you want to tighten it with your torque wrench to spec. And I, uh, if I remember correctly, I think the torque rating on these lug nuts is pretty high. It's like 130 or 135, um, yeah, 100, 135 uh, for the torque rating. So it's, it's up there. So I have it on uh, snugly, but not tight. We're going to drop it back to the ground and then we're gonna put the torque wrench on it. Conveniently, my torque wrench is set just above 130 Pounds, uh, foot pounds of torque already, so that's good. You notice I'm going in a star pattern. I always want to kind of do a star pattern back and forth when you're doing this. Good. All right. So annoying. I don't understand why, if you have 12% battery left, why does the GoPro say it's, it's shutting off at 12%? There's 12% charge left. It shouldn't be shutting off at 12%. It should be shutting off at 0 or 1%. So I just, I just put another battery in it that also is very low, but I think it has enough to finish this up. Okay, we're going to go for a quick 10-mile drive. We're going to monitor the pressure and uh, cross our fingers. Okay, that tire that I just plugged is at 42 PSI. Let's see what it's at at the end of this quick little 
uh, test drive. Okay, I'm back from my little uh, test test ride here, and the tire, the driver's side rear tire, has actually gained a few psi. You know, due to heating up from uh, driving, it's up to 44 psi. It did not lose any pressure, and I don't expect it to. I think it'll be fine. Um, I'm going to be doing a drive to the east coast of the state tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. But I think we are good, and, and the video is effing up again. Hmm, weird. Seems like when the batteries load, the video kind of gets flaky in this thing. Anyways, okay, we'll sign off quick. So I think this this was a success. Again, plugging a tire is not the ideal solution. If you can find a place to patch it correctly, that's the safest and most reliable uh, repair of the tire. But this is now the second plug I've done, and knock on uh, steering wheels. So far, so good. So. That's how it's done. So if you guys found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel. Please consider subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell. It's over there somewhere. Uh, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. And once again, I am not a trained mechanic. I am not uh, saying that this is the proper way to do everything. I'm just showing you what worked for me. And the video looks like shit. Okay. All right. That's all I got for now. Until next time. Stuff right now.